Welcome back to another everyday makeup drawer video. Today we're going to be going through my everyday makeup drawers, taking out everything that I feel like I've gotten some good use out of recently. Then we're going to go over to my main makeup collection, which I have over here, as well as these drawers, which I have some new PR makeup in, and we will refill the everyday makeup drawer. So if you're new, don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy, and let's go ahead ahead and get started. So a lot of the time when I'm filming these videos I will go through the products and kind of declutter anything along the way that I feel like I no longer need or want. I'm actually in the middle of filming a makeup collection declutter so I've already done primer foundation concealer powder setting spray. So that's basically these two containers here so I'm not going to be getting rid of anything from these two containers today just because I did just go through them. Next up we have blush and bronzer, which is going to be a crazy stressful declutter because I love blush and bronzer, especially blush. Um, but we're going to go through this. So starting off with primers, we have some little mini elf primers here, which I actually got a lot of really good use out of these this week. I, or not this week, but basically the last month and a half, two months. <laughs> I try to film these every month or so, but sometimes they get pushed back. But basically love these products a lot. This one is an SPF. This one is the C Brightening Putty Primer, but I did get some good use out of them, so I'm actually going to put those back in my makeup collection. We have two other primers that we have. Well, they're not really primers. One of them is. We have the Prime Time from Bare Minerals. I really enjoy this primer. It's a hydrate and glow primer. Um, it's nothing crazy special, but I do really enjoy it. It gives my base a really nice, glowy, moisturized finish, and I think it's really nice. Then we have the Jones Road. This is like a glow face oil, I think is what it's called. Shimmer face oil. It's in the shade Midas. It's absolutely stunning. I use it as a primer, basically, because it's so glowy. When you put foundation over top of it, it just looks so beautiful. But I did get some good use out of both of these, so those are both gonna go back in my makeup collection. For foundation, I actually did try the It Cosmetics CC Plus Matte Foundation, and I really enjoyed this. I enjoyed it a lot. I have two shades. I have light and light neutral. I think light neutral, is that right? Yeah, light neutral, I think, is the shade that I prefer, but I actually mixed them, and it worked out really well for me. I am kind of losing my tan a bit, so light neutral will probably be my shade in a month or so, but I will be keeping those, but they are going back in my makeup collection. I have so much makeup in my like new makeup PR drawers that I really need to take as much out of these drawers as possible so that I can try like all of my new stuff. So I'm trying my best here. <laughs> Next up we have this RMS Beauty Re-Evolve Natural Finish Foundation. This is really nice. It's not my favorite foundation ever, but it is really nice for something with a bit more full coverage. It does have a natural finish, but it has more coverage than what I typically use. I did get some good use out of this, so I will be putting that back in my collection. And then we have my favorite foundation. This is my go-to. It's the Revlon Illuminance Foundation. I wear it in the shade 213. This is my favorite. <laughs> I can't go without this in my everyday makeup drawer, so this will be staying in here just because it's my go-to if I need something in a pinch and I know, like, I need it to work for me. This is what I reach for. It's so good. I have this RMS brush, which I'm actually gonna put back with my brushes because I didn't get a chance to try that when I tried the RMS foundation, but I do want to try it out. So next time I use that foundation, I will try it out with that brush. And then we've got concealers. So I have a Pixi Color Corrector. I have the Rare Beauty Brightener. It's like an under eye brightener. And then I have the Laura Mercier Real Flawless Concealer. This is my favorite concealer. Best concealer ever. It's so freaking good. I'm going to keep all three of those in my everyday makeup drawer. For powder, I have this pink powder. It's the translucent pink from um, Lunar Beauty. It's called the Luniversal Setting Powder. So freaking cute. <laughs> and then I have the Pressed uh, Translucent Setting Powder from Laura Mercier. Love this stuff so much. This has been like my go-to powder recently. I want to keep this in here. 
and I want to keep this in here because it's pink and it's fun and I actually have used this a few times and been enjoying it but I do think it's time to switch out my powders because those have been in here for quite some time and then I have this little concealer sample which I'm gonna leave in here again but I just always forget to use these little samples same with this Charlotte's Magic Cream. I know I love this moisturizer. I actually just recently finished one up, but I'm keeping it in here in case I'm looking for an extra hydrating base one day. So those are the first two compartments. We are pretty empty, so we're going to have to pull a lot of new stuff. Now things are starting to get a little messy over here, as you can tell. Um, we have some, we have a lot of blush in my drawer right now and then my lip liners stay the same i just keep those there and then these are my lip products which i do switch out but there's a lot of new stuff in there anytime i swatch something from my pr drawer or use it one time i put it in my everyday makeup drawer so everything in those little drawers on top of my desk is completely new never been swatched never used if i literally swatch it once which was the case with this lip balm it goes in here so that I know it's still new, but it is like open slash used. So let's start here. Um, okay, these little jelly blushes, I'm obsessed with these. These are so good. I am like so late to the game here, but I love these. I love both of these shades. I have Chill and Splash, and they are amazing. Um, I think I'm going to keep them in here. Um... So I will set those there, but we'll see. We'll see if um, everything else fits because I have so many new blushes to try, but I seriously <laughs> love these little jelly blushes. So hopefully we can keep those in there. I have this Halo color tint. It's from Smashbox in the shade Wisteria, and I actually used this a few times, and it's really nice. So that's going to go back in my makeup collection. I also used this Ofra liquid highlighter in the shade sun a few times and this is so pretty as you can see so this is also going to go back in my collection this pixie blush is one of those products that i love so much that i want to keep it in here but i think i need to take it out because otherwise i'm not going to rotate through <laughs> my products it's so good it's in the shade fleur i love it so 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 much Another product that I love and got a ton of use out of is this liquid highlighter from ColourPop. This is in the shade Sun O'Clock, and it's the Liquid Light. And I love this stuff, but it is going to go back in my makeup collection. These Buxom blushes, I added to my everyday makeup drawer not long ago. These are new. Um, I have some more shades as well. Um, I love these. These are cream blushes from Buxom. They're called the Collagen Peptides Advanced Plumping Blush. I have the shades Tickled Pink and Coral Cheer. Um, they're so beautiful. They blend out so well love the colors those are gonna stay in my drawer because i think i've only used each of them one time and i'm like so obsessed with them already i finally got some use out of this highlighter from charlotte tilbury this has been in my drawer for so long and i've had this for so long literally unused because it was just like so pretty i didn't want to mess it up but i finally got some really good use out of it and i will be putting this back in my makeup collection let's see let's continue on with the blushes i told you i had a lot of blush in here um milani luminoso this is a classic that's gonna go back um my sephora collection blushes i love these these are really pretty matte blushes i have the shades so shy and love child those are gonna go back in my makeup collection this one i still haven't used this is from pixie it's the peachy dew blush i think i'm gonna keep this in here one more time if i don't use it i think i'm gonna declutter it so <laughs> we'll see um but i do want to keep that because i do want to at least try it once i don't know that i have tried that formula from them and then we have this lunar beauty moon prism liquid blush this is amazing i love this formula i have the shade rose reina in here this is the only one that i've tried um like the only shade that i've tried but i have all the other shades and i love the formula so much that i can't wait to try the other shades so i think we'll try a different shade and put this one back 
Okay, for bronzer, um, I have this Revlon Skin Lights bronzer. I think I will put this back in my collection. I got some good use out of that. And we're kind of transitioning over to more like fall now. So I think I want something a little bit less shimmery um the contour stick from charlotte tilbury i am also going to put back in my collection i got a ton of use out of that the last couple months and then this one from charlotte tilbury i think i might keep this just because i love it so much it's the beautiful skin sunkissed glow bronzer it's basically like a putty bronzer um it's really pretty and it blends out really nicely so i think i might keep that in here now for lips i'm just gonna quickly go through my lip products here and then i'll show you like the the what i'm keeping in here versus what i'm taking out okay so i'm keeping my jacqueline cosmetics lip mask my two mac lipsticks this is one from charlotte tilbury another charlotte tilbury this is Lunar Beauty Lip Oil. Um, this is in the shade Expose Me. It's almost gone. It's the clear one. I love this one so much. It's my favorite. Um, so I'm going to keep those. Plus, I have these, which I'm like kind of scared to keep these now. These are the Buxom Plump Shots, but they're kind of like a duochrome looking plump shot. They're so pretty on the lips, but I swatched them on my hand yesterday when I filmed my makeup organization video. And I left it on there for like five minutes maybe. And then when I, all of a sudden I realized my hand was burning. So I like wiped them off and my skin was swollen and red and irritated. And it, it did not like this being swatched. My lips felt fine. Like I felt the tingle. I didn't notice any pain though. So be careful swatching those on your hand. But we are going to keep them in here. Um, same with this Pixi lip balm. I just swatched this for the first time yesterday. I haven't even used it yet. It's in the shade Peachy. It's the Hydra Lip Treat Tinted Lip Balm. I have this ColourPop So Juicy Lip Oil in the shade Baby Panda. How cute is that? <laughs> and then I have this little Buxom Lip Gloss in the shade Samantha. So that's what we're keeping. Um, I'm taking out actually quite a few lip products. Um, oops, some Buxom, Pixie, Charlotte Tilbury, it Cosmetics and Lunar Beauty. I'm just trying to switch it up some more. I got a ton of lip products in PR recently. Lip products and blush is like everything that I've been getting recently. So that's the first drawer done. Now we'll move on to the second drawer. So if you've seen these videos on my channel before, you know that these sections don't really change much. Um, I've just got like brow products, eyeshadow primers, open mascaras back here. Um, some tools and then some random little eye products. Um, so that's all gonna stay the same. Honestly, I don't think there's anything back here that I want to get rid of. So yeah, I think we're good there. I have a couple mascaras that were in the wrong place, but okay, now we're good. Now let's move on to the eyeshadow palettes. So for eyeshadow palettes, I feel like I did all right this month as far as using what was in here. We have the That's Tote palette. I actually used this quite a bit this month. It's so pretty. I love this palette, but it's going to go back in my collection. Same with this face palette from Charlotte Tilbury. I actually finally used this a lot the last couple months. Um, this is something that has like sat in here forever unused, but I used that a ton, so I feel good about putting that back. Um, my Rose Quartz and my Mercury Retrograde palettes, I also used both of these quite a bit. They're very, like, springy, summery colors, and I want to switch things out for some more, like, fall colors. So, those are going to go back. We have the Self Love palette. This is so beautiful. Um, I'm going to put this back, though, just because, you know what, the brown, though... Eh, maybe we'll keep this in here. The bronze palette I got some good use out of, but this is really giving fall. I think I used it like twice. That's me saying good use. <laughs> um, so maybe we'll keep that one in here because it's like that just is such fall vibes. This is my favorite eyeshadow palette. This is the Lunar Beauty Nude Prism eyeshadow palette. I got a lot of use out of this. I always do. So we're going to put that back. My Urban Decay Naked palette, I am going to keep this in here, actually. This is the new, like, re-released Naked palette. 
Um, I have used this quite a bit, but I am loving using it, honestly. Also, we're gonna put this Ofer one back because I think I have another Ofer one that I wanna put in here instead. This Smashbox Halo face palette, this is in Back to Cali. I did not use this one this month. I used the pink one last, like, cycle, so we're gonna keep this in here. I feel like those are some pretty fall shades. And then we have the Huda Beauty Rose Gold Palette Remastered. And I actually did use this a few times this month. And even though these are really pretty fall colors, I think I wanna try to reach for some new palettes. So that's gonna go back in the collection as well. So that is everything that we're taking out. Now we're gonna focus on the new like PR makeup that I've gotten recently since I have so much of it right now. And then we'll go to my makeup collection for everything else that we need to fill in. So starting off with this set of drawers here, please ignore the dirty makeup sponges in my charging camera batteries. Um, we have face products in this set of drawers, so anything that's like primer, foundation, concealer, powder, bronzer, blush, highlight. Um, and then I have lip and eye products in the other set of drawers. So we definitely need some primers. I don't think I have any primers in here actually um, that I know of. We do have some new foundations though. So um, I think we'll grab this OG foundation because this has been in here for quite some time and then I have the brush that goes with it. So that's the OG Sculpted Complexion Stick. Um, I'm excited to try this. I have not tried this yet so this is in the shade linden you know i was gonna try this but i feel like i should give it to my mom because she loves og <laughs> so she has like all of their like blush and bronzery highlighter sticks so i think i'm gonna give this to my mom instead <laughs> and i won't use it first <laughs> i do really want to try the jones road foundation though so this one i am gonna keep my mom also likes jones road this is what the foundation and i do have a brush for this as well so we will actually try the Jones Road foundation out. I'll put that in my drawer. And then I also really want to try this Face Bond foundation from Urban Decay. They sent me two shades. I have 15 and 12. Um, so this I will be adding to my drawer as well. I'm just going to put both of them in there. The only other foundation I have is the It Cosmetics CC Plus, which I love the matte version, so I think I'm going to love the regular version. But I do think I'm going to keep those in here just for now. Um, I d did just recently get those. So these are going to be added to the drawer. And then I think that's going to be it for now because that's already uh, two foundations, <laughs> two new foundations in my everyday makeup drawer. Plus the one that I use every other time <laughs> when I'm not using something new. So I think we're good on foundation. I do need primers and concealers though so we'll have to get those from my main makeup collection which is fine next we have powders and i do have a couple of new powders i have this one from pixie oh this one i said i was going to put this in my everyday makeup drawer this is a pressed powder from ofra it's in the shade lavender days and it's a really pretty pressed lavender powder so we're gonna add that to my everyday makeup drawer and then let's see um i have this one plus these laura mercier ones i have this is the ultra blur translucent honey and the ultra blur tone up in rose so i think we'll put those in here for now or we'll keep them in here for now until I feel like I need a new powder to try. I do want to pick a pressed powder that I know that I like from my main makeup collection as well as a loose one. So, um, you know what? No, we're going to grab this as our loose one, the pixie one, because this has been in here for a while. So we'll grab the pixie one. This will be our loose powder for the month, and then we'll grab a pressed one from my makeup collection. Okay, cool. Now we have... Um, blush bronzer and highlight for highlighter i'm gonna grab these pixie on the glow super glow like highlighter sticks they're similar to the blush sticks but they're a highlighter version so i have 
petal dew in gilded gold um two really pretty colors so i'm gonna add both of those to my everyday makeup drawer and i actually think i'm gonna take this bronzer out just because it's so large it doesn't fit well with everything else and we can switch it out for something else no big deal so okay so that's good um i do have these a bunch oh boy <laughs> yeah i need to take some of these out i have these Bl highlighting blushes and blushing bronzers from Bare Minerals. So I'm going to pick out a couple of these. I also have two of them in here. Um, and then we will put like maybe like one of each, like a bronzer, blushing bronzer <laughs> and a highlighting blush. <laughs> I'll probably just pick like two random colors. So we're gonna do Kiss of Pink and Pink Glow. So we'll see if I even like this formula. I kept all of them that they sent me um, just in case I really liked the formula and I would have good color choices. So we'll put one of each of these in my everyday makeup drawer and see how it goes from there. We have a ton of blushes down here. Um, I think I'm gonna pick a couple of these. I'll just try one. We'll try one color pop. Uh, cream blush. These are the instant crush blushes. I think I'll pick lucky you That's a really pretty color that I could see myself using so we'll try one of those out just to see if I like the formula And then uh, I have these morphe blushes that I really need to try. Um, I've had these for a while so I'm just gonna put one of them in there. We'll put this one in my everyday makeup drawer. This is the shade Pleasured. Sorry if you can hear Luna in the other room, by the way. <laughs> She's playing. <laughs> um, and then I have other ones that I wanna add, but I think I need to stop there because that's so many blushes already and we still need bronzer and highlighter from my main makeup collection. So let's go over to the makeup collection and fill in those gaps that we have. So we definitely need a couple primers. I have zero primers in my everyday makeup drawer right now. So let's go for um, maybe one of these. Let's do the Illuminating uh, Pure Canvas Primer from Laura Mercier. Then, no, you know what? We're gonna do <laughs> the hydrating one because pretty much every other primer I own is illuminating. So we'll do the hydrating primer and then we'll do this Vive. This isn't really a primer, but I kind of use it as one. It's the Skin Do Glow Multitasker. You can use it as highlighter, primer, whatever you want, um, under or on top of makeup. And then let's do one more. There's like a hair right here. I guess we're gonna do this Say product. This is the, I love this stuff. This is the um, Glowy Super Gel in Star Glow. It's so beautiful. So we'll grab that one as well. For concealer, I have my Laura Mercier. Um, let's pull the ColourPop Pretty Fresh. Um, and then that's pretty much all I'm going to take from here. I only have like four concealers. So <laughs> I don't need a ton of them in my everyday makeup drawer. So I think... We should be good with that. Now for, um, we're good on foundation. I do want a pressed powder. I think I'm gonna do this one, the Charlotte Tilbury. I was gonna go Rare Beauty, but I think we're gonna go Charlotte Tilbury because I haven't used that one in a while. So that'll go, oh, we also don't have a setting spray. Um, let's go for the Milk Hydro Grip. This one is newer to me. Um, I've tried it before a long time ago, but I haven't used this one in particular. So we will go for this one in our everyday makeup drawer. This is what my blush and bronzer drawer looks like right now. So this is kind of a mess. Um, I think for bronzer, I'm gonna go Rare Beauty Bronzing Stick. I love this stuff. I wear it in the shade Happy Soul. So we're gonna grab that and I mean, I think that's, I don't really have space for anything else, so I think that's going to be it for now. Um, we're definitely going to have to do a declutter on this drawer, and I might have to go back to like a dedicated blush drawer and then a bronzer and highlight drawer maybe. I'm going to grab one more of these though. Let's do Blissful Buff. 
this is really pretty. It's another one of the Plump Shot Buxom like cream blushes. So I'll add that to the drawer as well. And then for highlighter, we have the Pixie Highlighter Sticks. And that's all that we have in there right now. Um, maybe we'll do, let's go for this Rare Beauty one. This one's really intense. Um, it's in the shade Exhilarate. We'll do that one. And then maybe a little mini. Let's do, let's do this pink one from Rare Beauty. It's in the shade Enchant. Okay. Oh, I forgot about that. Oh my God. Okay. There's so much good stuff in here. Okay. I think that's good for now though. I can always reach for these drawers if I want something specific, but um, I think that's good for this first drawer um, as far as like face products go. I am going to reorganize this so you'll see it looking cuter in a second. We're going to move to lip and eye products, which I closed this drawer, but we're going to fill the rest of this up. We're starting here. As you can see, I have a ton of lip and eye products right now, and then I want to pick some new eyeshadow palettes. So let's get to it. So here we have the Lip and Eye PR drawers. Um, there's a ton of stuff that I'm gonna grab from here. I'm gonna grab this Jones Road Mascara. I'm really excited to give this a try. So we're gonna pull that. I have one of these lip oils in my everyday makeup drawer right now. And I have like all these other colors. So we'll see um, how I like the formula before I decide to like pull more colors of that. Um, I just have some like eyeliners and random like eye products there. Um, some Kaja stuff. Let's see. Let's pull. I'm gonna pull this plumping lip oil. Um, it's called the Juicy Glass. Oh my gosh, how cute is that? It has like a little charm in the top of it. I don't know if you'll be able to like see that, but that is adorable. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I'm gonna pull that so we can at least be, like try one new Kasha thing out. Okay, here um, we've got a lot. We've got all these Laura Mercier lip liners and caviar eye sticks. I am going to pull this and put this in my everyday makeup drawer. This is a nude sticks set, um, and it's basically like eyeshadow sticks, but it's the Nude Beach Easy Eyes collection. Um, as far as these go, I think... Hmm... I think I might pull those as I need, no, let me at least pull one of each so that we have that going. Let's do, these are new and improved by the way. So um, let's do star, what is that one called? Starlight, yeah, we'll do the starlight um, eyeshadow stick. And then we'll do, we'll do delicate nude for my lip liner. So that way I can at least try the formulas out and then go from there as far as like what shades I want to keep so I have one of each of those pulled then here we have a bunch of Laura Mercier lipsticks we have NARS lipsticks and then we have this little Ofra palette this is the sweet and sassy palette which is so pretty and I think I'm gonna put this in my everyday makeup drawer instead of the one that was in there. This is a collab with Hot Mess Mama. So I'm gonna add that. Now, as far as the Lord Mercier lipsticks go, I think I'm gonna pick Chant Chanta. No, Chantilly Lace, I guess. Chantilly Lace. That's a really pretty pink color. And then I'm also gonna pick one of these NARS ones. Um, this I think is the most like neutral color. It's called Temptation. So I think I'm gonna pull that one as well so that I can try both of those formulas out. And then again, I can figure out what shades I want after that. And then down here, we've got a lot of lippies. So let me move you down a little bit. So down here we have the new Ofra lip oils. I definitely wanna try these. So let's grab this like brownie nude one. Super pretty, giving fall. Um, I'm also gonna pull this lipstick from Jones Road. This is in the shade Buff Estampe. <laughs> I don't know how you say that, but it's their lippy stick. So we'll, we'll pull that. Um, oh, these glosses from Buxom look so pretty. Let's do, I don't know, I'm kind of thinking Gabby. Gabby looks like a really pretty 
fall shade. So we'll pull Gabby. And then let's do one of these. We have Golden Dolly and Berry Spritz. You know what? I think I'm going to pull both of those because both of those colors look really pretty. So I think that might be good for lips. So let's put this stuff away, see what we're looking like, and then we'll go to the eyeshadow palettes and finish things off. Okay, so our lip oil, our Jones Road lipstick is gonna go in here. This is like um, a really pretty, like neutral kind of color. It's almost like a chapstick, that's cool. We've got our NARS lipstick. <laughs> Let's check out this Laura Mercier lipstick. Oh, the packaging is so beautiful. Oh my gosh, that is stunning. That's probably gonna have to be like a mix-in lipstick because it's so light. We've got our Jones Road mascara. I'm gonna put this in with my mascaras. Kaja lip oil. Dang, I might have too much stuff. Okay, let's see. This is the eyeshadow stick in Starlight. Oh my gosh, so beautiful wow that's amazing okay we're gonna put that over there and then our lip liner in delicate nude let's take a look at this one. Oh, that's amazing that's literally perfect ah 10 out of 10 okay we're gonna put that lip liner in here so that it's separate um gabby let's take a look at gabby <laughs> my lip drawer is already like full oh it's sparkly that is stunning okay <laughs> definitely giving fall and then we have Berry Spritz. Oh, that is beautiful. Is that a lip gloss? Full on plumping lip cream. And then this is also, oh, this is the gloss. Okay, this is the full on plumping polish. Amazing, 10 out of 10. Okay, so all of the lip products do fit. <laughs> Barely, but they fit. Um, and now we'll go over to my eyeshadow palettes and my makeup collection and pull from there. I do want to add that I'm going to pull this from my um, PR drawers and add this as an eyeshadow palette. This is part of the same Buxom collection here. Um, this is the Dolly's Glam Getaway Palette, and it is so pretty. It's really cool toned, but amazing. So we're going to add this. Now let's go fill in the rest of the eyeshadow palettes. Okay, so we only need a couple of palettes. But let's look for some fall vibes. Let's do Major Dimension 2, which I think is this one. Um, this one I feel like is, oh god. I feel like this one is a really pretty fall palette. Honestly, both of them would be, but this one is stunning. Okay, we'll grab that one. And then um, let's go down here. Is there anything in here that we need specifically? We could do Naughty Nude. That could be fun. Yeah, let's do Naughty Nude, I guess. That's giving fall slash holiday season. So we've got these two palettes. Um, I think we'll go back up here. I feel like we need a ColourPop palette. Do I have any fall? <laughs> ColourPop palettes? Not really. This could be fall. Um, very green and yellow. This is the Moonshroom palette. Let's pull that as well. Um, and then maybe like a small one. Oh, I love this. This is the Mini Zendo palette. So pretty from Natasha Denona. Okay, I think we're good. Yeah, I think we're good with that. So let me show you the finished updated everyday makeup drawer video. Not video, just updated everyday makeup drawers. All right, so here are the updated drawers. Everything looks so good. I'm really happy with how it all turned out. We have a ton of new stuff in here, as well as a few throwback items. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to subscribe and give it a thumbs up. Now I need to clean up this mess. This is all of the new stuff that I opened slash everything that we need to put back in the collection. So <laughs> thank you so much for watching. I love you so, so much. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next one. Bye.